I would not run if President Trump ran. I'm Nikki Haley, and I'm running for president. I will not, not now, not ever, support raising the gas tax. Let's increase the gas tax by 10 cents over the next three years. A huge issue that I'll deal with as soon as I get there is social media. They need to verify every single person on their outlet because, and I want it by name. I never said government should go and require anyone's That's name. False. I think China's been a really great friend of ours. Yes, I view China as an enemy. That was um, not what I intended to say. I do not think we need to pull money from the UN. The UN, the only thing is we would defund the UN as much as possible. When a 12-year-old child in this country assigned female at birth says, actually, I feel more comfortable living as a boy, what should the law allow the response to be? Well, I think the law should stay out of it, and I think parents should handle it. I think there should be federal involvement. You should not have any gender-altering anything done to a child before the age of 18. <laughs> Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Come on, hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, we just had the New Hampshire primaries, and as predicted, Donald Trump one pretty hit pretty big and poor Nikki Haley excuse me Nikki Haley <laughs> was still sitting there and she would not concede she still thinks she have a path to victory she's a fighter she says she's gonna stick it to the end and waste everybody time and money while while she's sitting there and doing that Donald Trump is already looking for a VP. Okay, he's looking for a vice president because we already know, everybody knows that he's going to be the nominee and this is over. Trump has did a historical win. He won Iowa caucus and New, Ham New Hampshire primaries. No president has ever done that before and pretty big. All right, nobody had did a back-to-back -back victory like that, especially during the, the nomination period. So he is catching momentum and Nikki Haley is losing momentum. But again, she don't care. She's a woman. And like most women, they're going to spend, waste money. And she's living in delusion land. So she still believes she can win. You know, so she says she's going to stick it out. But we'll see. The next one coming up is Nevada. And her poll's looking bad in Nevada. And a month from now, it's going to be South Carolina. <laughs> if she lose South Carolina, Come on, Nikki. Come on, your own state. Come on now. This is Trump. Trump was so big and powerful when he was winning 2016. He beat Jeb Bush from Florida Blech. and Marco Rubio, a senator from Florida. He beat them both in their own state. Nikki Haley, you have no chance. <laughs> Excuse me. Nikki Haley. <laughs> I love it. You have no chance. But you know, again, you're, you're kind of thick-headed. you kind of, uh, you know, you're going to stick it out till the end, I guess. So whatever. So we all just going to ignore you now. We're not going to pay you no attention because, again, you're 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 non motherfucking factor. <laughs> Unbelievable. But um, so, yeah, Trump, Trump is on the roll. He's going to find a VP. I'm getting a lot of people in my inboxes. Believe that it's going to be DeSantis <laughs> is going to be the VP. And I'm telling you people, he's not going to be the VP. All right. They both from Florida. Why would Trump pick DeSantis when he got DeSantis, when he got Florida on lock already? You can have the VP and the president from Florida from the same state. 
It's not going to happen. He's not going to pick DeSantis. And he's not going to pick uh, the little Indian guy, Vaswani. He's not going to pick him either. All right. So you people stop. Stop all that. All right? Yeah, keep inboxing me and calling me about that. It's not going to happen. He's going to pick somebody from a state he probably lost. Or he might pick a female just to sure up the female vote. He might pick Nikki Haley. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he doesn't do that. But, hey, stranger things have happened. Yeah, the, the funny thing about this, about Trump, he did not do no debate with none of these knuckleheads. And all the, everybody was calling him out. Pence, Nikki Haley, DeSantis, you need to come do this debate. You need to show up and blah, blah. He's like, ah, right, get out of here. I'm not coming up. And he still sucked 90% of the media airtime. Big boy. You know what I'm saying? So he got indictments over indictments over indictments. He got uh, impeached twice. Bogus impeachments. Everybody saw it was bogus. And all you did was embolden him. All you did was made him powerful, more powerful. More people have been drawn to him because they see the mistreatment from the Democrat Party, from the media and the likes. And we see what's happening. January 6th, another another bogus charge. You know what I'm saying? They keep saying insurrection. And again, there was no weapons in January 6th. Nobody had a gun except the police and the military. They're the only people that had the gun. So how are you going to how are you going to um, go to the Capitol and seize it with what? Bottles and sticks? F*** out of here. So that's getting another charge, another wordplay that the media love playing. Talking about the insurrectionists in January 6th. They keep playing it over and over and over. You know, try to, uh, you know, um, skew our votes and all that. But it's not going to work. We see it's not going to work. Hopefully this time we don't have no viruses floating around. They're going to make people stay home and use mail-in ballots. Hopefully we won't do that no more. Uh, we see what's going on with Big Booty Fanny Willis. You know, she's a mess. And the, the, the trial case in New York is another trumped-up charge. Pardon the pun. But if you're a developer in New York, you got to be a little nervous because everybody in New York, every developer has done this, what Trump has done. You got a property, you overvalue it. You go to the bank and say, hey, look, my building's worth $50 million. I need $50 million. The bank say, no, it's worth 25 mil. And they cut your check for 25 mil. You take the money and you develop. Every developer has done this practice. But again, because he's Trump and because they tried to stop his momentum, they come up with these Trump up charges where there's no jury. It's all on the... uh so on the judge, if he wants to prosecute or he want to press charges or, you know, sentence Judge uh, Trump, he can't sentence him. He can't put him in jail. All you're going to do is fine him. But again, it's another Trump job charge. And it's just trying to embarrass him. They're trying to make him plead guilty to a lesser charge so they can have the guilty on his uh, on his record. Wow. But yeah, man, Trump is on the roll and we rolling with him. The Trump train goes on. Chew. Chew. <laughs> Nikki, Hel Nikki Hillary, get the f*** out the way. God damn. Get your ass out the way. Anyway, if you got any value out of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And Nikki Hillary, get off my lawn.